बहुत आभार करती हूँ धन्यवाद श्री ई टी मोहम्मद बशीर जी सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सर इन पार्टिसिपेटिंग दिस डिस्कशन आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट सर्टन फैक्ट्स पर्टेनिंग टू केरला सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज इफ टू कैरी सिल्वर लाइन मेनी डेलीगेशन हैव मेट द हॉनरेबल मिनिस्टर एंड वी हैव एक्सप्लेन हिम द हार्डशिप द पीपल आर गोइंग टू फेस नो इट इज नॉट एट आर फीसिबल economically and uh, the climatic condition all kind of things it may have adverse effects no, no. this may create havoc in the state thousands of people will be thrown out cost benefit ratio is also not uh, appropriate like that not only that sir the eminent person like metro man is reason and uh, environmental activities metha patke and even adverse comment from the high court all these things are there so we have to think some more thing sir sridharan once warned that providing solid wall on either side a sure environmental disaster as it will block natural drainage and will be a dangerous thing for the state this kind of uh, things are there sir i honorable i i humbly request the honorable minister not to permit for that in the best interest of the state i humbly request that government should desist from this move sir now coming to the other thing now an important development has taken place there was two proposal one was nalambur nanjagodri other one was talisheri mysore now kerala government have supported for a new project not no new project instead of this uh, two uh, uh, route in different places they are suggesting let it be the nanjagod nalambur nanjagod one side and the talisheri mysore one side up to vayanad from vayanad to mysore that would be one route only that's a wise suggestion sir kerala government has said that they will bear the cost up to 50% of the total project so i am request the minister to think about this wise new proposal now coming to the other thing sir kerala in general Sir, the minimum essential uh, amenities that is there for all the railway station, even for the small one. But unfortunately, that has has not been adhered into properly. I request the minister to take a special attention with regard to small stations. Then, sir, Shornur Mangalore sector maximum permissible limit of speed is 110 kilometer per hour. Enhancement enhancement of this speed. that was survey was conducted all these things are over so i request that it should be de- reconsidered the speed of the speed in that sector should be increased so that it will be a blessing for uh, everything in this then loop line speed now it is 15 km per hour it it can be made 30 km the survey also is over in that because that will help us to speed up the running of the train then uh, delay sir budgetary work after a lot of uh, pressure you know government is also sanctioning budget and uh, works unfortunately the implementation is very poor sir as an example i will tell you that many proposals were pending in my constituency sir my constituency putipuram uh, there was a proposal to sanction uh, uh, a new building it was in the year 1920 unfortunately that has not been implemented sir i humbly ask the honorable minister request the minister to anger about that Thiru, like that tirur station there also one lift was sanctioned sir after a lot of pressure that is also delayed now fortunately that has been tendered similarly sir passenger rates were so sanctioned but so far further action has not been taken in this regard sir similarly noc for the construction kind of activities that also is delayed like anything previously the decision was taken at uh, drm level now it is at the law, uh, zonal level i suggest that the old system should be restored again it should be uh, entrusted to drm level at uh, final decision now sir i don't want to take much of the time privatization privatization of course, of course. there may be mixed feeling but i i am not totally against it in some sector privatization may have 
some good things. At the same time, while we are privatizing the things, we must have some regulatory mechanism to control itself. If the things goes without that, we may be in, danger, in a dangerous situation. So I demand for that also. Similarly, sir, the COVID era train, so certain trains were, almost all the trains were stopped. Now it has been restarted, but still 30% of the trains, especially passenger trains, have not been restarted. I request the government to do that also because ordinary passengers depend upon the passenger train only. In that way, that also may kindly be uh, restarted. Then, sir, stoppage of train. Sir, I am going to conclude, sir. I am going to conclude. Stoppage of train. I fail to understand what exactly is the criteria the government is adopting. They, they, why, I don't know what they are taking. In, in some places, they are stopping. I will tell you a classical example. In every district in Kerala, Rajadani stoppage is there, except one uh, district. That is Malapuram district. Malapuram district is the only district. Tiru railway station is the only railway station in the district headquarters where Rajarani is not stopped. It is an injustice, sir. I uh, request the Honorable Minister to reconsider your stand and make a clear-cut criteria for all these things. Like that, sir, many proposals are there because of the time constraint. I don't want to say much. My constituency, Parapanangadi, Tanur, Tirur, Kuttiparam, Tirunavaya, Padliparam, and a part of Patambi is also coming under my constituency. I request the Honorable Minister, to, I have already given representation on that, kindly look into that and do justice to all this kind of a reasonable demand. Sir, with these few words, I can go. Thank you very much. Sri Arvind Savanji. Maniya Chairman Sir, बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद.